in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. <laughs> This is for that three to seven percent of fragrance fanatics and enthusiasts and true diehard aficionados that watch my shit because they have a dope sense of humor and they like the fuckery, but they also want to hear about some interesting fragrances. This is a very reputable house and respected by a ton of motherfuckers up in this industry. Clearly, you know what fragrance it is by the title, but let's roll my motherfucking music so I can give you my impressions to see if it's as fancy as they say it is or it's just another pig with lipstick. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C3 U3 B to the A. Ooh, this one has a little spark, a little tingle, a little taint ticklage, a little tongue that just slipped by the ball and just hit you in the asshole, and you're like, ooh, am I gay? I don't know, but I liked it. This fragrance has some body, some elegance, some sophistication, everything that I don't have. And the fragrance is none other than by the house of Guerlain, that's Santal Royal. Yeah. If you are a rookie rose lover, what I mean by that is if you like rose but you just don't like that dirty, skanky, two for one dollar rose that the Mexican dude be selling out of the car, shout out to all them motherfuckers because they hustle beyond repair. Some of them make more than me. Facts. This is a sweet rose, kind of like a rose draped in amber and woods. Very beautiful fragrance. It has this kind of energy and kind of vibe about it that is just kind of uplifting and sexy, yet soft and sophisticated. It has an air of elegance and aristocracy. It makes you want to puff up your chest and tuck your ascot in and show motherfuckers that you bought that life. Santal Royal has got a beautiful woody essence. Again, a very sweet amber amberette rose. Got a nice delicate softness to it. I don't feel a dirty, skanky animal, but oud. It's got depth and layers and sexiness. It's kind of like a multi-layer crepe cake that I fuck with. That's one of my favorite cakes in the world. It's real, real thin, but it's got like 158,000 layers, and then you got shit in between those layers. When you all put them together, it makes this fucking just melt in your mouth, not in your balls. Beautiful fucking just, uh, this is one of those. And not only that, it performs spectacularly. For the autumn time or the winter time, this is definitely going to be a crowd pleaser. And not only a crowd pleaser, an interesting conversation starter. I wouldn't call this a panty dropper, so to speak, or something that will get her drawers moist. I think this is more of a conversational piece, more of an artistic that you go to the MoMA and just stand around and looking at art pieces, pretending like you know what they interpret, but you have no fucking idea, but you wanna show people you have some level of sophistication when you really don't. So in a nutshell, for me, I get a very sweet amberette covered rose with a nice suede vibe, a very woody base, and just a bunch of sexy refinement in this fucking concoction. I believe Fragrance that had this shit for like $100 or like $105, which is absolutely phenomenal for this fragrance. I think this fragrance is definitely worth a test. I don't know if it's worth a blind cop, but I think this fragrance is absolutely gorgeous from the House of Guerlain, and I think y'all bitches should definitely sample this motherfucker. If you like a wearable rose that's sweet, kind of candied-like, with a nice woody base and a little bit of a suede nuance, is this a ball sprayer? I absolutely feel like Santal Royal is a ball sprayer. Excuse me while I paint the taint. Mm, for some reason, I feel like singing, oh. I don't know why, it just it came to my head. Just leave me alone. I haven't been drinking, I swear. Siage that it's leaving off my ball bag is epic. Have y'all motherfuckers tried this? And which other from the House of Guerlain should I get my nose on that it's absolutely positivity a must buy? Like a guaranteed blind buy that you're gonna say, Kuba, you have to get this because it will change your life. Leave that fragrance down below, smash the thumbs up on this video, and make sure to tell your friends, friends, cousins, sisters, baby niece to subscribe to my channel also because we're trying to get to 30,000 real quick so I can start flashing my nipples all over uptown. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and this painted, tainted ball bag. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, it's the biggest in the motherfucking game. Smooches.